Oh, Charlie, Alpha. When are we going to rise up this partisan posturing that we have some rented radio stations that keep doing that? I mean, Oman FM, when Manasseh Azuri did the fourth expedition and the cover work and brought it out, I think towards election 2016, MPP4, any more rented radio stations like Oman FM. You didn't see anything wrong with it. You you actually capitalized on it. And you used it to campaign against Mahama. Now the same person, you're trying to attack him, you're trying to undermine his work, you're trying to silence him. What, what is that? I mean, this issue that I'm going to play these clips, Joy News has a footage of the CCTV camera and what it captured during the invasion yet again of national security so-called national security operating i don't know as you see a national security or other your own police officers or ghana national security is supposed to have operative full work undercover and they are only deployed to do sting operations that are involved with serious, serious crimes. So these issues that we get national security every day on the front pages of our tabloids, it is not, it is not depicting at all. Anyway, let me play the clips and then you see what I'm talking about. Uh, Oman FM hosts, he made some very ridiculous statement about how national security can even prosecute. National security can prosecute seriously. Uh, as journalists, the fact say a day console is we do what's not console in the mic is doesn't mean that you have to be so lazy, you don't do any research before you start talking to the public, misinforming the public, miseducating them and picking up just garbage. In, in, in all honesty, with all due respect, but at the end of the day, you 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 are positioning yourself say, as if say, you are creating a rift between national security and an investigative journalist, uh, Manasa J. Why? Why do you have to make such commentary about someone that exposed the sitting president Mahama of taking a fourth expedition. And then Nanado, yeah, yes, believe you about him like that. Yeah, and they say, Oh, my new too. Why is this that MPP near your rented radio stations? You are not that tolerant. It, it, it's just becoming too much that you trying to silence people. You're trying to, the, the culture of silence is very subtle, but it looks like you guys are doing a very good job and a very bad job for the national cohesion and for the so-called democracy that we've been practicing and limping for 29 years, you know. Um, just back to square one. Something that Nanadi himself, actually, he put his life on the line from the late 80s and into the, sorry, from the late 70s into the 80s, you know, fighting against this culture of silence and this lack of the respect of the fundamental human right of citizens. People were arrested without cause, they never returned by the so-called kangaroo national security nonsense. And it's still going on. National security, they, they try to intimidate people, they arrest people, they, 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 they use all sorts of unaccepted illegal methods to try and get information from people. And just, it's like national security, they invite you and then people panic because 
they will be restricted. What is, what is that? What at all is that? Anyway, let, let's see what happened here. Um, now, sorry, it uh, was ABC front page, mm, mm, uh -huh. and a sour statement. Mm. Now, yeah, can you can emphasize say, and trophy and send trophy a parfois a woke room. Send trophy a parfois a woke room. Ah, so national security for a year be beer. Now, a binum business interest in tea. Yakomo or musica. Now, or munum be chatro at their two state in also. Mm. The said, yeah. Kalab kuda di media mi jidi se maslo kas no adi a okoye ne no ye pyram for no ne din ko national security adi bezi si okay manase ne ne network national security for ako asankrewa Chinese wobi oho ah omo ya galamse omo sa ya money laundry eni me pi So, why do you call Manasse a network? What well, has Manasse got a network? I mean, this is this is just not right. This guy, what you're doing is not right. This 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 host at Oman FM. I don't know him, but I stumbled upon this video now. The Oyeno and yet Jai, Minya Jai. Manasse hasn't got any network. The network he's got is, is the people he works with to go undercover. He hasn't got any network. There are a lot of people who are just Ghana first patriots. I'm not here to defend anybody, but if I've seen a journalist gone undercover, expose the sitting president of the NDC, and the same journalist is doing the same thing under the MPP trying to put the government on its toes, sir. All that I can see from a far off is that he puts certain governments in check. Whether he, someone is paying him to do that, then you manipulate these journalists. You do that. You manipulate them. Whether he was paid to go undercover to expose the uh, certain president on Mahama, I don't know, but he did a good job. Whether the things that he's done since MPP came to power, about a few things that actually put his life at risk and he had to travel to South Africa or something, all the stories that came up, he was trying to do a good job and he did a good job in some of the things he was doing. So these name calling. Network na manasi in the network. Come on, when he was exposing Bahamas uh, government and the threat for the expedition, whatever, no, did he have a network? What kind of network was he using? But you bought into it, you use it for campaign. So just shush and don't create a problem for the journalists. This is not right. This is not right. Omo ho infonino ewo ho ena omo eye juma na national security for nya tipo tipo omo akoyen hwehwe mo akoto asenkrofo isu o casino bi achichi omo na sa hotel no kra no e chana ni no operate o Chan and me be in a year. And a oh pretty. On a more cockatin crofuina, or more the atoms yabba. Abba ya some no moon should you start a prosecute to Omo. Our national security. Or known to an answer in a crofon. Then Omo acquire publication say national security for Akobokron. Once again, there's the biggest, biggest misinformation that we put out there national security doesn't prosecute i hope it's just a slip of tongue but if you really don't know if you're ignorant then it's very serious put someone behind a console put a mic in front of them that they don't know that national security 
they don't prosecute. They don't arrest anybody and prosecute. They investigate. They question people. They don't prosecute. I hope it was just a slip of tongue. But some of you so-called journalists, though, you are lazy. You don't read wide. You don't do any research on anything. You sit in front of the console and you put a mic in front of you. You start talking. The standard is very low. You need to raise your standard. Maybe most of you are not even journalists. You just happen to have the chance to put in front of the console and the mic in front of you and start talking. We cannot run a democracy like that, that people are not held accountable when all can be beer politicians can say anything, they get away with it. Journalists can have a mic in front of them, they say stuff, they get away with it. National security, if you're educating the people, national security, do not prosecute. If you don't know, then it's serious. If it was just a slip of tongue, then you're forgiven. You need to try and correct yourself when you have the chance because you're misinforming, miseducating the people who are listening to you. Um, national security in Tari and team pressure who created me, sir. And then Uncle Fort Mission National Security in Tari, no more call you robbery. Na. Chase, uh, you said you're just a two, a two, a two big a kind. That the state should become an enemy. And till now, no one is a drone. And Kofu, I'm with the body. I say, I chum. I'm by the huni a mausika. So, quite a publication. So, national security for the two years. So, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Now, Oko go national security for the mass. This is just not right. This is just wild speculation. Say a quack on ma or in some training, no manasseh, as you know, your baby man is no big good national security in the mass. Come on, you can't be saying such things, you can't be making such wild speculative statements about a journalist and investigative journalist. What is wrong with us? Why do we take delight in? trying to destroy the image of people and trying to undermine the work of journalism and other people who want to stand up for Ghana first. Why? Just because of partisan politics, just because you want to protect the interests of your political party in power. You guys must feel very ashamed of yourself. And I can't play all the stuff that they were saying because it's pure misinformation and I don't even want to. Otherwise, every one minute, 30 seconds, one minute, I'll respond to it. Because, Charlie, mon chien bibi, mon chien adiena, mon chien bibi. And educate the people. The fact that we support two MPP, it doesn't mean that you need to stand behind MPP and national security for everything they are doing. Caleb, I say, you cry, you want to make a case, say, Caleb, when they to do that they 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 trying to and uh, trying to what what are you trying to say and then they hear end this mp for mo mo part in the world the next time it will be you that you'll be arrested and mistreated so pen the dnd kaso yen din kaso bra what it so you guys have to be careful the way you are you 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 are Creating a very, very, um, the more you know, a very hostile environment for politics, extremely hostile environment for politics in Ghana. It's not right, it is not right. So, you must stop. Miwano, they are preventing crime. And conform with any papa, and ocean statement. I believe we are being ABC. I'm telling you now, it's wrong. 
Atuo. Ah. Eni mo mo yeye ni sika. Eni ni amani ama plus galamse. Ya ya chuo mo a omu yenyi shi mo no. Woro oya sanjoni. Ya mfa national security report emra. Ya chia kromfo. Ni ya yomu mm -hmm. shi shi mo. Ni ya diomo akokotoa. Nobody should report to you. The first say we nim no. Na obia fa chira be kachira se. Koya report na for good national security for any matter. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy, honestly. Anyway, let me let me let me just run the joy news commentary on the same issue. On the same issue, I'm gonna run the joy news commentary on it, and I'll leave it for the audience to decide because you know um, we have a problem in Ghana and a serious one. And if if this is the kind of politics we are encouraging in Ghana, um, then at some point we need a reset because we're creating a whole lot of uh, we're creating an environment made up of stomach journalists and stomach politicians and everybody hasn't got the interest of the nation at heart national security is is misconducting them, themselves all over the place the operatives there it is clear we know it so why would anybody want to paint national security black when they are already painting themselves black? We need serious reforms in the national security architecture, national security council. It needs to set up. It needs, the president needs to clean the whole, the whole system of the national security council. We need to clean it up because it needs serious, serious people there who want to adhere to the ethics of being a national security operative. So let me roll out the video from um, Joy and then um, take it from there. Member of Parliament for Memphis West, Derek Apple, is accusing national security operatives of confiscating more than 3 million cities and an unknown quantity of gold in what he describes as an illegal operation in his constituency last month. The operatives who, he says, were led by former SWAT commander DSP Azugu stormed a casino, filling station and other facilities at Asen Krigwa in an operation said to be linked to illegal mining and allegedly assaulted staff of the casino, immigration service personnel and two journalists. CCTV footage obtained by the Fourth Estate and the Media Foundation for West Africa showed the said operatives on a rampage. <laughs> A Toyota V8 arrives at a compound. Two men descend from the driver and front passenger side. Another from the right passenger side, a light, wielding an AK-47. He is wearing a hooded sweater with a face mask, making it impossible for him to be identified. He opens the car boot, and a man in what looks like a police uniform appears from the left side of the car. Another person in mask jumps from the boot. The one wielding the AK-47 points the gun towards the ground and holds it firmly. He takes a few steps away from the car and turns to face the main building. In another footage, a man in white shirt walks along a path within an enclosed space. He is followed closely by the uniformed bow-legged man who eyewitnesses say is DSP Samuel Kujo Azugu, commander of the SWAT unit at the National Security Secretariat. An item in his possession drops to the floor and he pauses to pick it up and continues to walk. Outside the building, the AK-47 wielding man with his hand firmly on the trigger takes cautious steps to stand in front of the car. At this stage, there is commentary on the unfolding situation by unidentified persons. This brother was talking about William Morty with Max. It's very, very serious. Another footage shows a smoke-wearing man enter an open workspace. He is carrying an AK-47 in his right hand and uses his left to point to the ground as if handing out instructions. He is followed closely by the masked, hooded, sweater-wearing man. A third person carrying a pistol in his right hand enters at this stage. 
he moves to the back of a table. It is alleged he went to turn off the CCTV power source, an allegation repeated by the Member of Parliament for the area, Eric Afo. Before the shop were having CCTV cameras, the system was disconnected before they started off. You see, there's no such warrant from them. So who sent them? The men are alleged to have seized money and other items aside from damaging a safe. Attacked a lot of shops, intimidated a lot of residents in the community, and took away about 3 million Ghana cities and quantity of. Petition the IGP and the Interior Minister demanding sanctions against those involved. He dismisses claims the operation was to deal with illegal mine. He says the removal of DSP as Zugu is not enough. You see, officially, I've not gotten that notice. But if they have done it, I think it's a good step that they've done. And if they have done that, then they have done that according to my petition that I made. Because even from what happened at uh, Ayawasu, uh, we're gone, you know, infamous, what do you call it, uh, by-election thing. I don't think nothing has been done about it. So if with this petition they have moved him, I think there's something going on. Is there something more you want to see beyond DSP as a good being removed from the National Security? Um, that you haven't seen yet in terms of a proper response to the, the consensus? You see, actually, I think the ministry and the IGP's office, they've not treated this case kindly. I expect them to have responded to my letter, officially written to me, about the action they want to take. Unofficially, let me put it this way, that uh, they have gone to the constituency to research about what have petitioned them. They've gone there to the scenes to unofficially investigate about whatever went on. But it's not official. They have not told me, so I won't capitalize on that. Just to get a sense, what happened at the casino in, in your constituency that prompted you to then send this? Hmm, you see, it's not only the casino. The whole thing is beyond the casino's, you know, incidents. You see, they attacked the residents within the community of St. Gregoire attacked shops. Information reaching me is that even a, a filling station over there was also attacked. So it's not a matter of... The, did they the, take anything from there? Like, it was claimed allegedly they took money see, from that the is party. That is what I'm coming to say. But the information I've gathered, they took away about 3 million Ghana cities. From the with, casino or else? No, I think the operation, the entire operation that they did, with amount of gold, which I cannot quantify now. You understand my point? So it's not only the casino. It's about the casino and its environment. You see, what is more serious is that the divisional command and the district command of Ghana Police Service, they came to the scene and they were sacked by the team to a stand that two of the immigration officers were handcuffed the MC who is in charge of the security within the municipality was not informed. Came there, was not allowed to make any intervention, including yourself, the media. They came there, they were attacked. As we are talking now, one of them inside the hospital. So I think uh, they have to come and come out well. So you see, um, <laughs> Ghana, we have a problem long way we have a big problem not just a problem and a long way to go <laughs> and we need leaders who can crack the whip who can <sighs> Charlie we need leaders who want to be radical who want to really crack the whip from the top because when we say people who are supposed to do the right thing right from the top they don't do it because they have seen that there is a very lousy law enforcement regime right from the top. Opium in Brasso, people who are supposed to enforce laws crime rightly, legally not, they abuse it for their personal interest. We have people within national security who are abusing the system, who are taking advantage of the chaos of Dalamse and everything and abusing their positions and seizing stuff 
and taking it for themselves. Operation Vanguard, we had all sorts of things. These operatives, they go there, they see stuff, and they keep it. They steal it. They are stealing from criminal proceeds, sort of. Even if these people were doing that, I'm saying, and you seize gold. What about the money that you seize? What, what's the reason for it? Who is in charge of it? Why did you extend your operations to other areas? Who gave you the orders to do that? Who, come on, we can run a country like it's a field state. You know, everybody's doing whatever they like. They, let everybody get out there and we see, say, Charlie, the whole country is filled. So each one for himself, God for us all. But people cannot be abusing the state powers as national security to be running route as if, say, Ghana is a field state and they take stuff and take advantage of the chaos and trying to enrich themselves by stealing from illegality or stealing from tips. I said tip man, tip, tip man. If the country is broken down, then we should all be aware so that people can properly protect themselves. You can't be world, you can't be holding the AK-47 and running routes and going about operations without any warrant. You you get a tip off and all you do is you marshal national security people to go and pretend behave as if say we are in some military uh, regime. Why? Why is this thing happening under a, 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 a so-called human rights advocate? And he was a human rights advocate. It's not even a so-called, but now we don't see it. So some people will be justified to say, say that. Because the things that are happening at the end, I don't know, Charlie, as if the man is sleeping or is in coma, he doesn't know what is going on. Me, I see these things and it troubles me. And I'm talking. How, 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 how do you see these things or hear these things? And, and as the commander in chief and the first gentleman, a human rights advocate, you keep quiet. You don't show the passion and anger to address some of these issues. Adena Juzimana. Hey, Nana do pa me money. Anyway, money I better like getting until I come here again. Don't forget to say prayer for Ghana with every heartbeat. God bless us all. Yeah.